take a peek and see what's going on. Yes, he is here. I am here. <laughs> we found Mr. Hoyt. All right, man. So, tell me about this new movie you got coming out. I saw the poster up called Stand, Laugh, and Learn. What is that all about? Well, John, the, uh, <laughs> the purpose of the movie really is uh, to exhibit some, some of what some people call my strengths in the classroom. And, uh, and some, some people have called me funny, uh, to my face, in fact. Uh, students have said I should uh, have a stand-up routine, um, which I don't. You are hilarious. How about that? Um, they, they say that. <laughs> they say that. But uh, yeah, you should go see it. Uh, I think cool. I get a, a portion of the proceeds. Now, who's the female actress you star with? She's like a, a student teacher or a co-teacher. Who is that again? Uh, only Jennifer is the only female I know. My wife. Okay, cool. Jennifer. The only, <laughs> the only female I know. The right answer. <laughs> All right. Now, seriously, tell me about um, your humor and how you use that in the classroom. I've seen it, but tell the audience. Well, to me, it's it's just who I am. Um, I, I developed it through. Just, just being the different experiences in my life, I just developed uh, kind of a, a way to make people laugh, and I like to use that in the classroom to uh, to help relate to kids and to help them feel comfortable and to take a little bit of the oh this is math and this is a classroom. It, it just loosens it up a little bit, yeah. and so if if a kid can come in my class and and I feel like if they can laugh, then then they can learn. Right. Then then they that opens up that. Um, that pathway for them. Maybe if it's if it's closed up from, you know, had a tough morning. If it's, uh, you know, a little bit, a um, little bit shaky because of past experiences in math. If they can come in and feel comfortable and laugh, then I feel like I can reach them. Yeah. Well, and I want to start day one with this is what you can expect every day. So mm -hmm. I'm who I am on day one. I'm the same person I am on day one eighty. And, and you get that the whole the whole time. And so the, the same work we do on day one, you may do that same work on day 10, you may do that same work on day 100, you know, to varying degrees, but the, the structure and the, the experience is gonna be the same. Were you strong enough to do that in your first year teaching? I, I didn't know what I was doing in my first <laughs> one or two or five <laughs> years of teaching. Um, so it does, it takes confidence, it takes, yeah. um, whether whether you are actually that confident or whether you can portray it, I think are two different things. Mm -hmm. And I can certainly portray it um, in, in front of a classroom, and I can command that with with humor, with confidence, and um, you know you can fake it till you make it um, right. in front of a student. And, uh, <laughs> most until, days, most, most days you can fake it. Um, but if you you come across and you you believe in yourself and you're confident in front of kids, then they'll respond to that. Absolutely. And if you work very hard, good things are going to happen. Oh, absolutely. All right, so two questions for you. So do you think your sense of humor, which again I think is a gift, do you think that can be attributed to going to Georgia Tech? Ooh, um, be careful there. I, I, certainly, <laughs> I, I certainly learned a lot about who I was at Georgia Tech and um, developed a lot of my leadership style. Now, funny, I don't know, it may be genetic. My, my parents are, are not as funny as me, but they're, they're funny. <laughs> Um, my grandparents are funny. Um, again, not as funny as me, but it's right. just, it keeps getting getting more and more. Um, my children are going to be hilarious, uh, as it turns out. So. All, right. All right, so last thing here, um, first-year teacher right there. Give that first-year teacher your best advice. Uh, hello, first-year teacher. Um, my, my best advice, and I... And I I say this all the time to to actual first year teachers is you, you've got to be yourself. You've got to figure out who you are as a, as a teacher, and that comes from figuring out first who you are as a person, and then incorporating good teaching practice into uh, who you are as a person. Don't try to be Mr. Hoyt. Don't try to be Mr. Hardison. Don't try to be your favorite teacher from high school. But try to be yourself and incorporate best practices and good teaching into who you are, and kids will appreciate that much more than a half-hearted attempt to uh, replicate somebody that they don't even know. Good luck in the future. Well, Thanks good. for your time, man. Thanks, John. Thanks, Bob. Kelsey? No. You want to go by Kelsey?
Andrea. <laughs> sure? Okay, so what do you want me to call you then? Andrea. Andrea, okay, so you, you look more like an Andrea. All right, Andrea, what, what did you find? Uh, it's going up by one and left by one and right by one. All right, so you're saying, because you're on the same page over here, it's what is going up by one? Let's be more precise. Shape, shape, size. Yeah, let's see. I think we can get a better word than that. The height. What is that word? So, Andrea, with a little help uh, from Angie, yeah. said height. Does board have a volume? No. No. Does that trash can have a volume? What's something else in here that has a volume? Box. A box has a volume. Number box. What's something? Okay, so you can count those pretty easy. That's what I want here. Once you see that pattern. Oh. Right. Yeah. We had the discussion, right? So then what kind of numbers are you going to put to that? What kind of pattern exists? Are we going to write in letters or numbers? Uh, you can go with numbers then, and we're going to explain it later. I would like for you to justify your answers. <laughs> but yeah, if you need to start with numbers, I think that's a good place to start.